Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I'm at home in Bangkok, Thailand, and I hope that you're doing well despite the current situation, despite COVID-19 pandemic, which I think is now affecting everyone in the entire world in some way or another. I wanna thank you for all of your messages, for all of your words of support, and people have, I've received just countless messages from you asking about me and my family and if we're traveling or what we're doing. And so I wanted to give you a real update, um, share with you the current situation, and then also we're gonna order some delivery Thai street food to the house. Really quick update, as of three or four weeks ago already, my family and I, Ying and Micah, uh, we are at home in Bangkok, we are staying at home as much as possible, not only going out for necessities. And we are thankful that we are so far in good health, that we are uh, able to do things online and that we have a, a house, which is a privilege and we are very thankful. As for Thailand, the state of Thailand right now, the borders have been closed, entry and exit. Malls have been completely closed. A lot of public spaces have been completely closed. Restaurants have been closed for dining in, uh, but takeaway is still available. And so a big shout out to all the delivery people, all of the chefs, all of the cooks who still provide amazing food and get it around to people that are hungry, to people that need to eat around the city. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Let's order some food. Oh, oh dinosaurs. <laughs> Hey, guy. <laughs> oh, oh, dinosaur! I think we're gonna order some grilled chicken. สวัสดีค่ะร้านไก่ย่างวิเชียนใช่มั้ยคะอ่ะหนูลบกวนจดนิดนึงนะเอาไก่ย่างตัวนึงแล้วก็ตามปูปลาเผ็ดๆไม่
And he had like three other bags on his handlebars too. The three bag. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> Smell that that spice braised aroma of the beef. Mm, oh my god. And again, shout out to all the delivery. Everyone involved in the delivery industry, the motorbike drivers. Tip them well. They deserve it. Kind of a lot of bags. That's something we still need to work at. Uh, but definitely a lot of people are making effort, but street food is still s slower to adapt to a less plastic. Uh -huh. We got a lot of plastic. Hello. Um, I think, oh, Lon. Lon. Lon is hot, right? Oh, this is the, the bummy with Kamu. Kamu. Nice. Okay, Mega, can you bring this thing? Inside, For the beef, we ordered braised beef in a mofai. A mofai is Thai fire pot. And so normally what you do if you eat in is they would actually put your beef, they would put some charcoal in one of those round donut shaped pans with charcoal in the center so that it keeps hot and boiling the entire time. But for delivery, it just comes in a bag and you don't get the fire pot. <laughs> Luckily, welcome back to our kitchen. We have our own fire pot and gas. Uh, yeah, let's use this pan. Let's use this pan. Or should mm -hmm. we use a different pan? Or should we use the gatayu? So it looks more like... No, there's more ni that. So it's more open, but I mean, so it's like... Like it's more... Ah, uh, okay. You know, so it's more like a wider pan, Ying. Yeah, that will work. Not too big. Okay, let's leave it right here. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, oh, it's filled with beef chunks. All that aroma. All oh, the braised beef nuggets. All the rumen, the stomach. It's all in there. I need like a. Oh, no. no. This one is raw beef that you add later. Okay, first add the vegetable too. I think you add meat Both the braised beef, um, fresh beef, meatballs, tripe. Oh, oh, that's a meatball. Tripe goes in, and all the raw beef too. Nice. And there's more extra soup broth. There's That's the vegetables. Good, Stir. It smells so incredibly good. Bean sprouts. Bean sprouting. Water morning glory. Okay. And then just let that simmer down probably for a minute or so and then we'll be good to eat. Make sure you wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds. It's just a few seconds longer than normal, but it's important. Let's go eat. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell this across the whole yard. Tambu bala, uh, green papaya salad with fermented fish sauce. There's chilies in here, there's tomatoes, there's long beans. Making sure to grab a chili and look at the dark murky Dressing. Mmm. Mmm. Sap. Oh. The umami, the buzz of your tongue, the spice. 
the fishiness. Oh, I love it. Okay, I think the, the Mofi Firebot is boiling away. Yeah. Should be done, right? Mm hmm Okay, we're gonna turn it off. And serve it out. A mix of beef, the bean sprouts, that broth. That beef. Look at that beef. Okay, now we are ready for takeaway, Bangkok street food takeaway delivery lunch. I cannot wait to try the gayang, and this one is a special type of gayang called gayang wichenburi. The freshness of it, fresh off the grill, that smoky aroma, that skin which just kind of clings to the meat. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, it's so good. It's so creamy. Mm. You taste the herbs in there, the black pepper and the coriander root. And then the like texture, the oiliness is so good. Oh, that's even good without the sauce. Mm. A two biter drumstick, that's a very fruity sauce. Tastes a lot of tamarind in there. Sticky rice, always chase that with sticky rice. Dip that into the fermented fish sauce. And one more bite. Grilled chicken, green papaya salad, sticky rice. One of the great, one of the world's great trifecta combinations that never gets old. Tua fuck yeah, mate. Tam tua. Pounded long beans um, with chilies, with pala, with some tomatoes and chilies and crab as well. Mm. Oh my mark. Totally different texture from the green papaya that's more crisp. This is more like juicy, like raw green beans, but just with so much flavor. Now onto the beef noodles. Oh, now onto the, the beef soup, braised beef soup. These are all the, the topping additions, but vinegar is what you gotta add first. And then the other essential component. These are chili flakes. Oh, it's almost gone actually. I think I finished it almost yesterday. <laughs> but these are chili flakes that Ying mom, Ying's mom pounds and roasts herself. Add a little bit of this, get the juices flowing. The morning glory in here, the, um, the bean sprouts, the meatballs, the braised, okay. Let me just find a good piece of braised beef to begin with. Oh, wow. It's so tender. You just melt in your mouth that beef. And then with the addition of the vinegar, so it's sour, the spicy chili. And again, those like Chinese braised spices, the star anise in there, the cinnamon, it's so good. The last dish is bami kamu, which is egg noodles with braised pork leg. And you gotta, you gotta sauce it first. If I can get this little bag open. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> oh, that's thick and porky. Okay, that should be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, okay, there we go. Vinegar, chili vinegar on there. Okay, now it's ready to eat. Oh, it's nice to kind of separate the skin, the skin fatty bits from the straight meat with that glossy glaze with that vinegar. Kind of need chopsticks for this. Awesome. That pork is so tender. Just melts in your mouth with the vinegar to like kind of cut the, the heaviness of it.
green tea and saffron. Saffron from Iran. That was a great lunch though. Definitely have a, a huge sweat going, but it would not be, a meal would just not be right without breaking a sweat in Bangkok. Especially when you eat green papaya salad. But again, I wanna take this time to say a huge thank you and express our gratefulness for chefs, for cooks, for people that work in restaurants, for cleaners, for people that clean the streets, the cleaners, they are the unrecognized heroes that we should never forget. To medical staff, to doctors and nurses and scientists and everyone who have been working tirelessly, nonstop, to help other people. We're all in this together, and yet we're all in different positions, different circumstances. And I think about some of the people, so many people in the world, who not only live paycheck to paycheck, but they live even day by day, earning money, and they use that money that day to support their families, to support their kids. And that's, this is such an incredibly difficult time. And I hope that we can step up, we can help our neighbors, we can uh, help our friends, help the people that are in most need. Um, and then for those of us who are at home, quarantine or lockdown, yet in good health, I would encourage you, and myself included, to keep a positive attitude. We should not just be at home because the government is telling us to be at home or be where the rules have been set. It should be our choice because it will slow the spread or stop the spread of the virus. And so we should, if we're home and healthy, we should keep a positive attitude and it should be our choice to be home. And for those who are less fortunate, who maybe don't even have a home, let's do our part, let's do what we can to provide. And then I've received a lot of comments from you asking about my family and what we're doing. And so thank you for that. Uh, we are home in Bangkok, staying at home. I have been doing some work on the computer right here, doing some work in the garden, in the yard. And we built this garden shelf to put the herbs on. Experimenting in the kitchen. This is jamu, uh, an Indonesian turmeric drink. I've been doing a lot of exercise. Whoa, Micah. I've been spending lots of time lots of time with Micah in our outdoor tub, which is actually a cement trough. Whoa, Micah. <laughs> it's a privilege to have a house at this uh, at this time. Um, even a lot of people live in small little condos and when they're quarantined when you're by yourself in a little condo and there's no space to move around, it gets it's frustrating. It's difficult. Uh, but we are blessed to have a small yard. We are blessed to, to have a house. It truly is a blessing. Okay, that wraps it up. I wanna say a huge thank you for your incredible support. Uh, keep yourself healthy physically. Eat a lot of fresh food, vegetables and fruits and vitamins. Um, and also mentally, keep your mind positive. Remember to wash your hands. Don't skimp on the 20 seconds. 20 seconds faithfully and frequently. Stay at home. Thank you for watching.